Welcome to this four-part series that looks at developing learners' understanding and use of ratios. Now, this resource is going to be useful for all tutors whose learners are going to be eventually winding up in fields where they're working with ratios either on a daily or weekly basis. However, it's primarily targeted for learners who are working in horticultural and agricultural fields. And so we'll be using examples like uh, mixing petrol and oil mix 25 to 1, 50 to 1, uh, mixing sprays and so on in the context of horticulture, and also um, drench, putting together drench and so on. However, the content is going to be useful for any tutors who have either been thinking about or having a go at teaching ratios in their classrooms. Now the four parts of this series are going to transition the learner from having a fairly limited understanding of ratios to having a really developed sense of what ratios are and how they work. And we want them to be able to independently use ratios to put together quantities in an accurate way. So if they're out there in the workforce uh, and somebody asks them to put together uh, a petrol and oil mix or some spray or some drench and so on, they're going to have the confidence and the skills to go and do that accurately. You know, We're going to do this in three ways. Number one is going to be around, firstly, defining ratios and explaining exactly how they work. And uh, it's been my experience that this is the bit that trips learners up and tutors as well quite often. It's the very basics around ratios, what they actually represent, how they work, and what we can do about it. So that's going to be number one. Number two is going to be around developing conceptual understanding. That is developing their concepts around how ratios work and what you can do with them. And that's going to be uh, in session number two. We're going to look at three activities that will help you to do that. They're fun. And the other thing I like about them is they build success. So the students are going to have success, success, success. And then we're going to take that confidence and we're going to use it in part three. And we're going to apply it to more complex ratio tasks. Things like uh, actually mixing the petrol and oil or put it, putting together the spray and so on. So we're going through three stages. One, how ratios work and what they are. Number two, developing conceptual understanding. And number three, hitting the big stuff. You know, those really complex tasks that uh, can be quite challenging for all of us.